Hey everybody, how's it going? Today I'm going to be changing the differential fluid in my 2022 Chevy Silverado LTD Custom. This is the nine and a half inch rear end. Um, there's a couple different rear axles on these trucks. So make sure you check the specifications for the axle that's on your vehicle. But for the most part, this process is going to be the same for all the axles on Chevy Silverado. I've gone ahead and removed my spare tire that would be right here in the way. You just lower it with the hoist and get it out of the way to give yourself some more room. Now, GM and their infinite wisdom has removed the drain plug from the axles of these trucks. So the only way to get the differential fluid out is to crack open the differential cover and drain it out. Now, luckily the rear differential has a reusable gasket, so you don't need to buy a new gasket unless it's really old and starting to uh, fall apart. My truck's only got about 51,000 miles on it, so I'm going to reuse the factory gasket. GM's equipped with the G80 locker. Um, use a 75W85 fluid. I'm going to be using 75W90. It should be fine. My truck does not have the locker. Also, something to note, this says it has the limited slip additive. It's okay to use that in a G80. Just don't add another specific bottle of the limited slip additive. I've got my drain pan in place. To start, I'm going to crack open the fill tube there on the right. There is a magnet on this fill plug, which is nice, so that does catch some debris from the differential in there. Unlike, uh, you know, if you had a drain plug, they'd probably put a magnet on the drain plug, which is on the bottom of the differential, but at least they give you a magnet on the fill plug, so it does catch some stuff. And you can see this fluid's probably never been changed in this truck. There's some, there's some buildup on there. I'll clean that off before I reinstall it. All right, now that I got the oil drained out, I'm gonna go ahead and reinstall the cover. So I've cleaned up my gasket and I cleaned up the inside of the differential cover as well. I'm just gonna line up the gasket and then start lining up the bolts. So I just tighten up the bolts just loosely with my impact, but I didn't go hog wild. You need to use a torque wrench to make sure you get even torque across that gasket. And for my truck, the torque on these bolts is 15 foot pounds plus another 20 degrees, which is not a lot. It's really just snug, but you want to ensure that you do a crisscrossing pattern so that you are getting even tightness across the gasket, just like you would on lug nuts on your wheel to make sure there's even torque distributed on the differential cover. I'm also going to use a little paint marker to mark the bolts as I go so I know which ones I've done already. All right, now that I've gotten the differential cover tightened up, I'm gonna go ahead and fill it up with fresh oil. The capacity is really dictated by when it starts to come out of the fill hole. So you're gonna need at least three quarts to get it filled up, and I'm just gonna use it until it starts coming out of the top here and let it drip for a second, and then that's it, you're ready to go. All right guys, so I filled it up. It took a full three quarts, and you can see it's just sort of spilling out of the fell hole here a little bit. That's good enough for me. I'm gonna just wipe this off, and I'm gonna tighten it up with the fill plug, wipe it off a little bit. And then the torque spec for the fill plug is 24 foot-pounds. I don't have a torque wrench that goes to 24, so I'm just gonna give it a good ugga dugga and tighten it down by hand. 
good enough for me. And that's all there is to it to change your differential oil, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Love it if you subscribe. Stay tuned for new videos. See you next time. Later.